Hey, and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial on making a car advertisement. Um, it's going to be really basic, so I'm um, just going through the basics. Um, go up here to File New. We don't want, now depending on if you want, we're going to be 300 resolution, but 72, re 72 resolution is for web, 300 is for print. Uh, we're going to make the width, uh, we're going to leave it at 900. The height we're going to do, oh, I don't know, 400 pixels, press enter. That's probably about right. If you hold down Alt and do your inner mouse button here, the roller, let's zoom in now. Just real quick, go up to File, Open. I have selected a few, a few different cars. Um, right now I'm going to do the... Um, Let's do the CRV. This is the 2010 CRV. It's already cut out. If you wanted to cut this out, go to your pen tool and just start selecting. You can, if you do a point here and hold it, you can actually curve the line. But usually I just go around clicking like that. And once you close this off, right click, make selection, it will. Feather radius, leave it where it's at. Uh, this will select the car so you can take it out and move it. But if that, I didn't do it all the way around, this is just a short example. Deselect, um, sorry, go over here to history and then just delete all these anchor points. So it's open in a new document. All I have to do is drag it to my already open document over here. Placement, place it wherever you feel needed to. If you want to flip it on the other side, go to image, I'm sorry, uh, edit, transform, rotate, flip horizontally, or it'll flip to the other side, but I don't want to do that. So, sweet it. Go ahead and add a new layer get your background color, actually get your rectangular marquee tool, select and you don't really need that for this part, and we're going to do it anyway uh, fill it in actually, you can select the color you want now or you can do it later there's actually a shortcut key for what I just did control Z gets rid of what I just did, alt backspace will fill it in for you, I just like doing it the brush way uh, control D deselects your marquee tool. Now we can go control U and click this little colorize button. It'll colorize it if you brighten it up a little bit. Let's give it, uh, we can do a blue, purple, let's do a light. No, I don't really mess with green too much because I don't really like it. Let's do blue. Press OK. Make sure your car is above your other layer so it comes up on here. It's already got a shadow under here, is a good thing, but if you wanted to add a shadow around it, double click your layer, go to drop shadow. You can probably give it more of a sh <laughs> excuse me, more of a shadow. You can uh, pick which direction you want to make the shadow, you can push it down a little bit, that kind of looks crappy for right now, I'm going to leave it as it is, but I'm just giving you an example go back to your background there, get in the habit of naming this double click to to change it, we're going to go to filter um, artistic, or actually filter, filter gallery go to, you can choose from any of these, I mean, just whatever you like, it's not going to show up for most of them so go to texture, you pick patchwork, we want the square size to be at 10 and the relief to be at 0, press ok it's going to give us this background what we're going to do now is open up our layer style menu with double clicking on the layer go to inner shadow, I'm going to give this an inner shadow of yeah, just kind of play with it I like that, that looks fine 
I'm actually going to play with the contrast on the vehicle as well. So select your layer, go to adjustments, brightness, and contrast. Let's bring the contrast up a little bit. That's down too much, too much. Okay, and press OK. Next, we're going to make like a little road. So select your marquee tool. Go ahead and drag it across. Oh, uh, make sure it's on a new layer. Bring this layer in between. I should have clicked on that one. Hide your effects. I hate having all those effects out. Um, we're going to fill this one with black, so all backspace. Control backspace would do white. All backspace would do black. Go ahead and press Control T to transform. Uh, that's either, and you can do that with Edit, Free Transform. But it's just easier to know the shortcuts. So let's rotate this a little bit. Give it a road. Hold Shift, grab it, and drag it up. Just to fit. Press Enter and Control D to deselect. And we want this grid to show through, so we're going to go to Opacity, bring our opacity down a little bit, um, just enough for it to show through. Okay, so now we've got something fairly decent to work with. Um, let's go ahead and so create some text. Go to Type Tool. Click anywhere on the screen. Let's bring this down to 18. This is a Honda. I think I want to make that a little bigger. Also, it's a pain sometimes to go through and pick what kind of text you want. I'm going to, I don't know, just kind of put wherever I feel like. I want my text to bring this down here. And this is a CRV position. Your arrow keys will move it up and down. If you hold shift, you can get more of a movement. Let's go to the layer on the Honda or the 2010. And of course we can always change the color, but this is super basic. We can probably put a Honda symbol here. Um, let's give this uh, a drop shadow. Go into our layers. A lot of this is, is just kind of your own creativity. Just kind of figuring out what looks good, what doesn't look good. Um, I'm going to give this a drop shadow. And I'm going to give all these a drop shadow. I'm not going to go in and mess with the keep it consistent. Um, you can even move this around. Select your layers, move it this around, maybe move it down closer, or maybe you want your CRV to be here, or in your 2000 to be here, or something. You know, just play with it. I'm going to go back to where it was though. Now I don't have an, uh, a Honda symbol. I think we're fairly decent there. <clears throat> but uh, that'll be the tutorial for right now. Play around with it. Do your own thing. Um, if you want to email me any questions or you want tutorials, it would be 3dart.nick at gmail.com so give me a message and I will try and get back to you this is my business email so I, I check it um, every so often uh, well, I probably not as much as I should but okay uh, that'll be it for today so go out there and get creative